Rasha Lobon, you can all praise his own and glory unto your Hawa Bashim, your Shah Bashim, your Kakatash, and double on some to you, Allah's apostles, and great minister, and Allah's advanced salutation. So, love you, since you came out there, we are preaching the gospel of repentance unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of you predominantly of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and your descendants among these nations, all right? We just wherever you have passion, I'll show your power. He has scattered us in these last days. Okay, we so called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans here, the 12 tribes. All right, and those of you who have been scattered among these nations, okay, as you're hearing the word of the of your apostle, okay, being preached, okay, by men, all right, as it, as it, it resonates with your spirit, hey, there's, no, hey, there's no denying that you are an Israelite, all right, although you may be an Israelite among these nations also, for as long as you still are rebelling against the living Father, guess what? It makes no difference. That going, that's going to mean you're part of those the Lord has, has uh, set apart for what for destruction, okay. It's uh, Romans 10 and now uh, this verse, uh, verse 15. Oh, it's uh, Romans chapter, 15, chapter 10, verse 15. And, that, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and, the, and bring uh, glad tidings uh, of good things. Uh, it says, How be beautiful are the feet of them that, that preach the gospel of peace. Uh, and peace is not, pe and how are you going to get peace? Okay, through the, the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, upon his second return. When he's going to make war in righteousness against the kingdom, the kings of the earth, all right, NATO, the EU, all the the, the, uh, the, the aligned, okay, nations, we, we, they're all going to come against the Lord and Savior, who the world knows ignorantly as Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, all right. He's going to bring peace by, our, by, by, by having the final war, the, the war to end all of the wars, okay, which is going to be World War Three. all right. Couple of all of that is going to be what famine, or what, race wars, you name it. All it's going to be the worst time to be in. But okay, for those who are not of the elect, but for those to those who are well of the elect of the Father, the chosen, okay, it's going to be the best time to receive salvation. All right, because those those who want to make it, okay, in this lifetime around, those who are of the elect, at the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, all right, they're going to live to tell about it. Okay, they're going to be able to say, you know, you know what, we were there. Uh, when Esau was was ruling the earth, okay, when we when he was busy ruling over the nations in wrath and in anger, okay, with continual strokes, as it says in the book of Isaiah, okay, let's get this in Isaiah. Uh, for, for those who have been sent by Yahweh Hashem, they're going to tell you, okay, how bad the situation is and what hope that we have, and the only hope we have is in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right. Concerning you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and your descendants among these nations. Uh, this is Isaiah 14, Isaiah 13. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 6. Inside of verse 5, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people uh, with wrath in continuous stroke, he that says, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered, okay? And then we're heading for that time, okay? When, when he saw the so-called white man as you know him today, he's going to be what? Well, finally, he's going to get his reward, okay? By ruling these nations in anger with continual stroke, okay? Because you're getting stroke left, right, and center by well, getting taxed, getting these vaccine laws that we have in the society. Continuously, all these things are still happening right now, okay? So, for... For, for a lot of you still thinking that the most highest man, he, he, he's happy with, this, the, with the way things are, are, are happening in this world. But it's actually the opposite. All right, this is the book of Psalms. All right, let's get this in the book of Psalms. Because right, the, the Heavenly Father, is, he's far from being satisfied as things the way they are. All right, this is the book of Psalms. Let's get this in Psalms 8. Eh? All right, this is the book of Psalms. Let's get this in the book of Psalms. The Psalms, because oh, the Heavenly Father is far from being being, uh, being satisfied by the way things are heading. Oh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 7, oh, verse 10 says, My defenses of the Most High, which say with the upright in heart, the Most High judge of the righteous, and the, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. So the Heavenly Father right now is highly angry with the way things are heading, okay, in this current society. The Heavenly Father is far from being happy, being satisfied the way people are living, okay, the way, the way people are living their so called lives, okay. My choice, okay, having control of your own destiny, there's no such thing, 
Okay. We belong unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, Pashim, Yahweh, Shah. All right. And they be, they be some those who, who, are, who are verses unto honor, and some they be uh, honors unto, unto this honor, which is Esau, Edom. Okay. And a couple alongside, okay, the, the honors of, uh, of this honor right now in the state in which the majority of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans see you in, you are you, you have become nothing but dishonorable vessels. All right. That's why the law says this, the time will come that judgment will begin at the house of the Lord. All right. So that the two players shall be cut off and die, as it says in Zechariah 13. All right. Because you is right, you, you ended up following the ways of these nations, all right. following after their gods and their idols, okay, which cannot save. There's only one true God who can save them, that is the God of the of the Hebrew Israelites, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 tribes. Okay? So it's Psalms chapter 7. Alright? Inside of this now it says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for, for the most high is righteous. For the for the righteous God try the hearts and the rings. Right? That's what we are waiting for, so patiently so okay, to see the establishment of what? Of our righteous kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, which is going to be established on earth very soon. Right? Because this current system is all broken, okay, it's not sustainable. Right? It's far from being sustainable. Okay, you can't sustain okay life, humanity at the at the rate that, that things are going. Okay, all things are what have been broken apart as we speak. Right? Because what well, because it says here in the Job book of Job chapter 9. And uh so Job chapter 9 verse uh, 24 says uh, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Right? Because 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 of this current world that we live in being been ruled by, by the wicked, okay, it has become un unsustainable. It's not conducive, okay, the, the way things have been ruled. Uh, everything has a turn, it has been turned upside down. As it says in Psalms 82, they know it not, neither will they understand because they all walk in darkness. Okay, all the foundations of the earth, they've been turned upside down. Because of what? Because of this error that is from the womb. Uh, so the Lord is angry with the wicked every single day. There's a plenty more reasons why the, why the Lord uh, is angry. Okay, and more reasons why you should be angry. Okay, you Israelite, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native Americans, there's a good damn reason why you should be angry also. Alright? Hey, that's what the Lord says in the book of Jeremiah, from among my people are found wicked men. Alright? We're supposed to be the beacon of, and hope, of, okay, and the light to this world, as Yahweh Shai said it. Alright? Not being joined, up, joined with the enemies. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's take, going back to Romans uh, 10 and 15. Uh, this is Romans chapter 10 verse 15 it says uh, and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things and what is the good things the true order is going to be found in the establishment okay okay no more no more guns okay no more weapons of mass destruction of them they're going to be used up okay in World War III okay after that there will no no longer be any more violence right Peace shall be finally be, be established, and everlasting perpetual uh, peace will be established. Unlike what we have today, all right? There's no surety of life in this society, all right? So how can you have your mindset set towards uh, to a place that the Lord is angry against, okay? An establishment which is against all the laws which the Lord, the Heavenly Father has laid down. So how can you be at peace with all of that, all right? So as a... Uh, it says, but they have not all obeyed of the gospel. For Isaiah, Isaiah said, the Lord who have believed our report. So who are going to believe? Those ones who are of the elect. All right. That's why the Lord, when he was walking upon the earth, says, look, my sheep hear my voice. All right. Was that in St. John chapter 10? They have not all obeyed. That is just a fact. Just like what happened in the days of Noah. Okay, they, never, they never listened to, to what Noah had to say. All right. They were, they were on about their daily lives. Okay. All right, doing some nonsense. All right, the same thing that we see happening to them. Hey, Second Peter, uh, chapter three. Uh, Second Peter. Uh, let's go to that. Because this is the kind of mindset of people uh, of this uh, of this day and age. Okay, the Second Peter. Uh, let's go to that one. Uh, 
second meters. Uh, this book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse uh, instead of verse one, says, "This uh, second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance." Right? And those ones whose minds are going to be stirred back, okay, by the way of remembrance, these are the same ones who, who have believed the report from 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 the from the, from, from the mouths of, of the prophets. Or right, these are the only ones who are going to. That is the only to, to the exception that they're going to believe the gospel, the true good news, which is only to who? to the Israelites, those whose, whose lineage go back from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the twelve tribes. Uh, these are the ones who are going to still believe in his last in these last days upon the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. Okay, it says, uh, "This second epistle, beloved, uh, I now write unto you, in hope we shall stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance." So, if your mind has been corrupted, hey, yeah, it's not. It's, it's, you're not going to receive the truth, all right? You're not going to be able to receive the truth, all right? Our wisdom cannot enter into a malicious soul, all right? As it says that in the wisdom of Solomon, all right? If your mind is not pure, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to serve Yahweh Hashem Hashem, all right? You're not going to follow the Lamb with us wherever He goes. It's not going to happen, okay? So as Second Peter chapter three verse two says, it says that ye, that ye may be mindful of the ways I wish were spoken uh, before by the holy prophets and the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this fact, they shall come in the last days, God first walking after the last, and saying, Where's the promise of his coming? Uh, because most people you know, uh, are looking forward to the return of our Lord and Savior. Uh, though they may be professing as if they believe in the Lord, uh, when you ask them what you think about the return of our Lord, they don't even know. Uh, they're still, they're still, well, they're still doubting whether even the Lord is, is returning or not. They have been these these uh, these uh, these uh, these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these uh, these uh pastors out there, charismatic pastors pastors out there. Uh, the one that was on uh, on uh, on some news article saying, "Hey, he's not returning. The Lord is not returning." You see, this is the kind of a mindset, okay, a poor state in which the, the, we find the earth being in today, all right? And that's why this place deserves judgment. The earth deserves judgment. And it's gonna get all of that judgment, that sweet judgment that's gonna proceed from on high. Okay, by death, by famine, by pestilences, okay, the teeth of wild beasts, as it says in the book of Jeremiah 15. Okay, it's, it's all gonna be well deserved. Uh, this is second Peter chapter 3, verse uh there's forces and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? And since the says, since the fathers fell, fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, of creation. And that's not the case. Uh, the prophecies are what they're speaking. Uh, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. We see all of that. All these nations are transitioning toward the world, towards a, a cashless system. Okay. Just like well, what happened in Asia on a couple of months ago when, uh, when the, 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 the South African Reserve Bank said, hey, they're looking toward uh, uh, an, uh, um, making a pilot for what? For seeing if, if, they, if they could trade uh, a cryptocurrency which is backed by the rent. Uh, all these nations are all transitioning themselves towards uh, toward the cashless system, uh, which is going to lead to the, the, to the, to, to the global Im uh, implementation of the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Uh, so things have not uh, continued as they, were, as they were back then. But those who are ignorant, as Yahweh Shai said in his, uh, Revelation chapter 22, let them be ignorant. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 22. Uh, those who are blind, let them be blind. Uh, Hey, this is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse uh, 22. Uh, it says, uh, the Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Okay, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him, let him be holy still. Uh, so we're not overly concerned about people who don't. Who get this understanding. If it's meant for you, you're going to receive the, the word of the Lord, the encrafted in word, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. You're going to receive all of it all right, without wavering. All right. Now going back to Romans chapter 10 and uh, verse 15. All right, so Romans chapter 15 and now uh, verse 6, verse 16 it says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. As I, say, as I have said, Lord, who have believed that report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Mosah. But I say unto you, have ye not heard? 
yes, very neat. The, the sun went out to work uh, the, all the earth and the waves onto the ends of the world. And that's what exactly what's happening right now. The gospel, the gospel of repentance, okay, unto the Lord, sheep of the house of Israel, has been preached, okay, throughout the whole world. Every single continent upon the face of the planet, man, you got men out there uh, who, are, who, who, are, who are preaching, give, giving you this, okay, who are giving this, who are feeding you, okay, the waiter from Yahweh, Shem Yahusha, warning you, okay, what is still there. Because right, the Lord has, has high compassion for his nation. Is that Second Chronicles? Let's get this in Chronicles. Because the Most High has compassion on you Israelites. Alright? Is that Second Chronicles chapter 36? And uh First Chronicles, Second Second Chronicles chapter 36. And uh verse 15, and the Lord uh God of their fathers sent uh, to them by his messengers, rising up past times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Uh, the same compassion has been shown right now unto you, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and your descendants among these nations. That same level of compassion, high level of compassion, has been shown unto you, but you still reject them. Okay, that's why Yahweh Shai said in, in, uh, in Luke, let's get this in Luke. Uh, who have believed our report? Uh, not the whole nation, but what the elect have believed. This is Luke chapter 13 and verse 34 says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stoneth them that are sent unto thee. How often will I gather you, will I have gathered uh, thy children together, as the hand of God that had brought, uh, God that had brought under her wings, and ye would not. Uh, you don't want to listen to to Yah to, to Yah to to no Shah. We never listened to Yahusha when he was here. All the wicked scribes and Pharisees are, are, are a prime example of all of that. Okay, that you just what you will not. Are uh, the same thing we see happening right now. So hey, this hey, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, is nothing new under the sun. Okay, this is the Second Chronicles chapter thirty-six and verse fifteen. And so the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by uh, sent, uh, sent to them by his messengers, rising up as times and sending them. Because he had compassion upon upon on his people and on his dwelling place, so the same compassion has been shown right now at best time before before destruction comes, before famine comes in, okay, before race war, race wars uh, kick off, all right? before all kind of disasters start start happening, okay, before the famine of the world actually comes to pass, all right? before you no longer gonna be able to access your, your social media, not gonna be able to go up and down whatever you whatever you into doing. All the folly, all the entertainment before all of that goes goes uh, down to the drain. Okay, these these are this is the time right now. It says in the book of the Kings, Acts 12. Remember now their Creator in the days of their youth. This is that time. All right, this is that time right now. But what about you, Israel? You would not. Okay, you would not come unto the Father Yahweh in the tent and seek His face continuously, as it says in no, First Chronicles 16. Uh, let's get this in First Chronicles uh, chapter 16. Uh, this is First Chronicles chapter 16, uh, verse 11 says, Seek the Lord and His strength, seek His face continually. Uh, that's what we're supposed to be doing, and this is that time uh, to be seeking Yahweh Baal Shem continuously. Uh, this is our Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiastical chapter th uh, 43. Uh, this is uh, Sarak, Ecclesiastical chapter 43, verse 30. It says, it says, When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet uh, will he far exceed. And when he exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Uh, for what has been what has been promised unto those un unto you elect, you elect, guess whatever you do, it can never be, be enough. Uh, because you just cannot compare the mercies of Yahweh Baal Shem uh, in, in, into comparison to what we have done. Uh, to what we have done, hey, the book of Baruch says, hey, my delicate ones have, have gone rough ways. Uh, we have truly have gone rough ways, but the Most High's hand is still, well, still stretched forth out until this very day as we speak. So very soon all you scoffers, man, hey, it's going to be lights out. Uh, 
all you, you disbelievers, you scoffers, and those of you who are still even out there, are, okay, still doubting, who are still, who are still not yet even fully persuaded, the time is coming whereby, look, it's going to be either, like Yahweh Shai said, let me get this in, like Yahweh Shai said, right? This is what Yahweh Shai said. Now this is not the time to choose sides. Which side are you on? Uh, are you against Yahweh Shai? Are you uh, or are you for Yahweh Shai? what Yahweh Shai had to say finally, right? This is uh, Matthew, not Luke, so like it. it's not Luke 12. This is uh, Matthew chapter 12. Have you ever seen a black Jesus? All right, this is uh, Matthew chapter 12. Have you ever seen Verse 30 a black says, Jesus? says, he that is no. not with me is against me. And he that got with not have with me is got with a black Jesus? Got with the yeah, All right. You have not yeah, Of course, the Lord and Savior Have you ever seen a black Jesus, there's no such thing as black. The different shades of brown. What's wrong with you, man? Are you crazy? Can I be with the one? You can stand over there, man. You have any questions? Can you please? You can stand over there. Papa Union form. I need information. You already know that the Messiah was not a so-called white man, so what more, what more information do you need? What, what more information do you need? All right. This, this is Matthew, the devil. This image this is not Matthew biblical. Chapter 12, this text is he that is not with me <laughs> is against me. And he that got with not with me is got with a broad. Whether you are, ah. you are with Yahweh Shah or you're not, okay? Never. Hey, a lot of people are just bugged out. Right? So it all comes out, boils down to that. It's either you are with the Lord or you are, or you are actually against him. There's no way in between. Uh, you can't be lukewarm. You can't say, oh, I believe in the law, but you know, I have a problem with the, New Testament, with the Old Testament. Which one is it then? Do you fully believe in Yahweh Shai or not? Okay. There's no in between. There's no, there's absolutely no in between. All right. It says, uh, one more time, it says, uh, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30. He that is not with me, it is against me. And he that, that God is not with, uh, it says, he that God is not with me, it's got him from wrong. All right, and part of part of the main okay, started from abroad. Those who will not who will not build the move Yahweh Shah. It's though you Israelites out there who actually you know you Israelites, but guess what? You're not preaching the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You still are calling upon these demonic dumbass names, okay? Still calling upon Christ Jesus. That's part of you started from abroad, okay? Not got with Yahweh Shah, and that makes you what against Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior. Of which he was a Hebrew man, okay, who came out of the tribe of Judah. All right. Going back to Ecclesiastes chapter 40, 43. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 43, verse 30. It says, it says, When he glorified the Lord, exalt him as much as he can, even, it says, even, as a, even yet will he far exceed. And when he exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be ye not weary, for ye can never go far enough. As it says that in Galatians, let us therefore not be uh, weary in well doing. Uh, a reward is, is, is guaranteed unto those who want to keep that diligent, who want to keep serving the Lord. Okay, following the Lamb, will is wherever he goeth. Uh, so let's get this in our second Corinthians. Let's get this in Corinthians. First Corinthians, uh, this is the first Corinthians. All uh, right, this is the second first Corinthians chapter, uh, chapter 15, uh, verse, uh, verse 58. Now uh, it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the, of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, uh, it's not in vain. Uh, 
Because those who, who, who judge things upon the outward appearance, guess what? The work which we, which the men of the Lord are done always and always with us, whoever we've been scattered among among these different nations, hey, it's, it's been it's been frowned upon. Okay, it is as foolishness unto the eyes of the world what we're doing. Alright? Uh, but guess what? At the end, Jeremiah 28 and verse 28, all right, it is all gonna be proven. All you scoffers, you, you infidels, you unbelievers, all right, you're gonna be shocked. Uh, it says that in Muslim of Solomon, so it says, what does it say? It says that in Muslim of Solomon, chapter 5, how is he numbered among the saints of the Moksha? Alright. Let's get this in uh Let's get Romans 3 and 3. Uh, Romans. Oh, it's the Romans chapter 3, verse. Uh, it's the Romans chapter 3, verse uh, 3. It says, uh, for Mr. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make uh, the faith of the Most High without effect? You're not going to cancel out the purpose which the Most High has purpose upon the earth. Uh, you're not going to do that. Uh, if the Lord says, Look, my judgment will come and it will begin at the house of the Lord. Hey, there's nothing else you can do about it. When the Mosai says, look, Esau is going to, into, into slavery, alongside all these filthy demonic nations, guess what? There's nothing that you can do against that. All right? You're not going to cancel out the purpose of the Mosai, which, which he has laid down from the foundations of the earth. Just like when you read uh, in Revelation, it's this, uh, the land which was laid from the, from the, before the foundations of the earth. Even Yahweh Shai sacrificed, man, the Mosai has already uh, purposed each and everything. Right. All the timeline throughout history, they've all been drawn up by Yahweh Shinosha, even leading towards the kingdom of heaven. All eternity, the Most High have drawn it out. So whatever you do, you can never, yeah, you cannot go against Yahweh Shinosha uh, and win. Not to even to to uh, to leave to tell about it. Uh, that's why it says that and say in Acts. Let's get this in the Book of Acts. Let them alone. All right. This uh, act. Seventeen. Seven to slug it. It's a book of Acts. This uh, Acts chapter five and uh, verse thirty eight says uh, says uh, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel of or this will be of men it shall come to naught. Uh, it says, uh, but if it be of the Most High, he cannot overthrow this heaven be found even to fight against the Most High. Uh, that's what a lot of people, people are not even able to discern all of that. Okay, because they're so dumb and, and, uh, and have been led so much astray. They have no, they have no respect unto those who, who, who bring the ways of the Most High. They can't even identify who the true servants of, of the Lord are. Let, let yet alone even for them to know themselves who they are. Uh, it's of Jeremiah chapter 28. Because the prophecies are speaking right now as we speak. Alright. Things have not continued, continue, uh, continue, okay, as in the days of our forefathers. Man. Things have been moving, okay, speedingly. Uh, it's of Jeremiah chapter 28. And uh, it's of Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Verse, instead of a service, it says, Nevertheless, hear thou now. Uh, this way that I speak in, uh, in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets which have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against countries, against many countries, uh, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Because that's what all the prophets of old have been doing. Uh, each and every time, whatever prophets were set up in the, whatever uh, age that was, they were against whatever society that was established back then. So the same thing is going to be happening this time around. The true prophets of the Lord, they're going to be standing up against this current society. All right? And all of these filthy abominations, all these laws that have been made, okay, all these different dumb okay, uh, thoughts of the wicked which have been uh, made into law. These, these lawless laws, that's what they are. They're not even laws, man. Uh, these are wicked commandments to lead the flock astray, to lead the nation of Israel astray. And two thirds of you so called you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you, you following okay after these dumb demonic okay laws of these nations. And you and you are enjoying them. So that's why the law says hey if 
hey, though they be joined hand in hand, is the Proverbs. Uh, this is what the Lord said in the book of um, Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 16. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16. Say what? Though they be joined hand in hand, the wicked shall not but altogether be left unpunished. All right. That, these are the times we're coming into. We're about all going to be punished. Okay. Accordingly, uh, we're going to all, all have to stand before the judgment seat of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. Okay. To receive things which you have done, whether they be good or bad. All right. Beginning with those of us who know that we Israelites, a reward will come, a recompense is upon its way. All right. Speedingly and swiftly, as Yahweh Shah has said when he was making that parable okay it says shall he not avenge his elect and of, of course he will right that's what the return of our lord and savior yahusha is all about right. it's about finally receiving judgment these nations receiving their reward okay the nations being judged okay beginning with the two thirds beginning with the, the of all these false prophets okay out of you israelites you 12 tribes beginning at the house of the Lord. In fact, let me get this. Go back to Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8 says, says that the prophet, the, says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophets are both against many countries all right, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence the same thing we're telling you is on its way war is on its, up on its way war war three okay that's which is going to be fought by, by, by the way of what the east intercontinental ballistic missiles all right, war is on its own arrives all these trade wars they're going to lead to actual war all right throughout history has been proven before World War One, what happened? The same circumstances. Before World War Two kicked off, the same circumstances. Okay, war is on on the horizon. Okay, so uh, and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Bad times are ahead, and pestilence is all kind of disease outbreaks are upon their way. Uh, they're gonna happen. Okay, there's like hundreds and hundreds of uh, thousands of children died in uh, in Madagascar. All these different uh, uh, disease outbreaks, they're going to happen more and more frequently. Because well, these are the times of judgment. Uh, the Lord is about to make a plan uh, return upon the earth. He's about to visit the world as you know it. Uh, and upon its visitation, it's not going to be sweet. Uh, it's not going to be nice at all. Uh, second address. Is that the second address. Let's get this in second address. Because yeah, the, the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh is going to come to the shock of many. All right, second address. Believe it's sixteen. No, second address of thirteen. All right. So second is chapter 13. And now I'm sorry, this is The second is chapter 13. <coughs> the second is chapter 13, verse, uh, I'm sorry, this, uh, verse 37. It says, uh, and, it says uh, and this is my, my son shall rebuke the wicked invention of those nations, which for their wicked life, it says, uh, which for their wicked life are falling into, into the tempest because of, uh, because of their own wax, because of their own doings. So Yahweh Shai upon his second return, he's gonna what? He's gonna be bringing pure judgment upon the world. Those who, wanna, who are gonna be deemed wicked, those who, wanna, who have been wicked, and upon his return, so they're gonna still be wicked. The Lord is gonna bring judgment upon all the wicked of the earth. 
Uh, those who are the children of disobedience, the Lord is going to bring judgment upon the two thirds. But the majority of you Israelites, uh, the Moshe is going to bring judgment upon you. Uh, says, uh, and this is my son, 2nd Edward chapter 13, verse 37. And this is my son shall rebuke the wicked invention of those nations which are for the wicked life are falling into the tempest and shall lay it before them the evil thought and the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented which are like unto a flame and he shall destroy them without, without labor by the law which is like unto fire all right that's the kind of judgment that's going to come forth at the return of our lord yahusha all these nations as, as you're going to read in, in second is 13 going into world war three okay upon the second return of yahusha there's going to be nothing but pure devastation. All right? Your nations, you're going to be devastated. You're going to realize, you know what, you're nothing. All your weapons, or your, all your tanks, your military tanks, you're going to realize all your technology, you're still nothing with, with, your, with all of your military might. All right? You're going to you know yourself to be part man, as, as the law says in the book of Isaiah. All right? You're going to know yourself to be part man. All right? You want to miserably fail. All right? Just like when you watch the second uh, movie, and Independence Day, Okay, when the chariot uh, arrives, okay, that, that old uh, Edomite says, "What, well, Holy Moses?" Guess what? Making reference to, to, to how the, the nation of Israel, uh, we got delivered, man, by a chariot, a huge chariot of the Alba Shmuel Shai. The same thing is going to happen in this lifetime around. There's going to be an invasion, all right? Okay, the host of heavens, okay, Yahweh Shai and the host of heaven, they're about to they're about to make themselves appear. Uh, they were, they were, they're about to make themselves known unto the world. Alright, right, going back to the uh, book of Isaiah, it's like Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8 says, The prophets which have been prophesied, says, uh, says verse 9, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 9 says, The prophets which prophesy of peace. And when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord of two sent him. Alright, so for all of these different pastors of yours who tell you, you know, there's no, uh, there's no such thing as war. You know, they live in the, in the times of war. Guess what? Ultimately, if there be no, no such thing as, uh, as war, the war of, three, war of three never happens in our lifetime. Guess what? You're going to know who, who the false prophets have been. All right? It's going to be made clear. All right? But hey, these prophets are speaking. Habakkuk chapter 2. Okay, though we tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come. Right? That's what we are patiently waiting for to see. All right? So that Jeremiah chapter 28 and 9 says, The prophets which prophesy out of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, uh, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. But oh, there's no peace in, in this lifetime around. Alright? Because you you busy me while you've been hooked with me. Alright? You've been lied to me. Like I said in Thessalonians, when they shall say peace, peace, okay, then sudden destruction coming. Alright? It's our Amos. Let's get this in Amos. Alright. Isaiah chapter 5 and now verse 18. So there's no peace. Are uh, we about to, to, to enter into the return of our Lord and Savior? Yahweh Shah, who didn't know the world, the world ignorantly know he was Jesus. All right? And it's going to be nothing but devastating, chaotic events happening left, right, and center. A series of unfortunate events they are going to be unfolding left, right, and center. All right? That's why uh, Edward says, hey, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. Who shall deliver me in those days? All right, says our second, my second name is lucky. Amos chapter five. Amos chapter five, verse fourteen says, "Seek good and not evil, that ye may live, so that the Lord, power, uh, the Lord God of hosts, shall be with you, as ye have spoken." It says, "I hate the evil and not the good. Establish judgment in the gate." It says, uh, "It may be that the Lord God of hosts may be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph." And Moses is ultimately going to be uh, gracious unto the remnant. All right. No matter what happens, these are ones, the same ones which Yahweh Shah was praying for. All right. Say, look, man, oh Father, I leave these, these ones in the world. I pray them that you know, take them out of, but hey, but keep, keep them. All right. The elect are going to be kept, and they have been kept all right, until the, the return of our Lord and Savior, till they be also be exalted as Yahweh Shah receive his crown. The elect, all, all, got, all, the, all the elect men are going to receive their crowns. Every last one of the 144,000 uh, men. All right. it says that therefore, it says uh, Amos chapter five and uh, verse sixteen it says therefore the Lord, uh, God of hosts, the Lord saith, thus wailing shall be in, the, in all streets, 
it says, and they shall say in all the houses at last, at last, that it says, uh, and they shall call all the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful for lamentation to wait in all the streets. Okay, they're going to be nothing but pure lamentations and, and mourning. All, right. all the laughter is going to be done away with. All this folly that's been happening. Okay, all this madness, all of it's going to it's going to be a thing of the past. All right. There's going to be nothing but pure judgment, left, right, and center. Okay, going back to what happened in Samaria in the days of Samaria, man. all kind of a hey, judgment is on, it's, it's upon the horizon. All, right. all this folly, all of it's going to come to an end very soon. All right. And you can't say you, you, you never knew. Uh, you can't say you never knew. Uh, you already know. You knew, but you chose not to take heed. Uh, you chose not to take heed unto the, unto the words of, from the prophets of Yahweh Shemosha. You took them for, for a joke. Uh, just like those who were, who were called on, uh, unto the supper, they made light. The same thing with those who, were here, who heard the word from those who, who listened and heard the warning from Yahweh Shemosha. Those who were moved with fear. Those ones who were preaching the word, the same ones that, that you, you ended up disregarding the, the, the words which they came out of them. So judgment will come. Okay? Like I opened up of Romans uh, 10, 10, 15 to 16, have not, have not they heard that the sound went throughout the whole earth? So, so you knew. You have known. Uh, but you chose to make, to make light of the situation. Uh, there's nothing light about seeing men out there okay, de who have dedicated, who have dedicated their, li their lives okay, to present, as it says in Romans uh, chapter 12, uh, to presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice continuously. So, and you, and you never somehow paid attention and you took it for a joke? Hey, judgment will begin, all right? Amos chapter 5. Verse 16, therefore the Lord of God of, of hosts, okay, uh, the Lord said, Waiting shall be in all the streets, and they shall say in all the highways, At last, at last, they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as are skillful for, for, for lamentation to wailing. All right, we want to say it immediately. Like when you see all the hell previews, you say, You know what, you know, you no longer you to go to, to your work. Okay, but, but, hey, we want to say, Finally, all right. Finally, and, and don't get us wrong, we're also going to be in fear, man. All right? But guess what? We're going to be hey, the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah encampeth around them that fear him. All right? You let they're going to be delivered, man. Finally, we just can't wait. Okay. We just can't wait. But guess what? We cannot actually wait, man. Okay, we're not in control. We're, we're just here to have to play things out. Do as we've been, we've been commanded to do is to preach the word, be instant in season, in season, and out of season. All right. Tell these nations their judgment. How angry the Lord is. Okay, what is about to do upon the face of the earth? What is awaiting the nations? Okay, and what is going to happen to the chosen nation? Those who are going to rebel the ways of the prophets. What's going to befall them? Judgment is on the horizon. All this folly, all this nonsense that's been happening, it's all going to be paid back. Okay, double. It says, in all the highways, it says, all the vineyards shall be wailing. For all, for I will pass. He says, I will pass thee. He says, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. O unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is, is darkness and not light. Okay, there's nothing. Hey, there will be no light. It's not. It's not going to be hugs and kisses and flowers and roses. It's going to be devastating judgment. Uh, devastating judgment. That's how the day, the day of the Lord shall be. There's a Daniel chapter twelve. Right, it's the book of Daniel, chapter 12, is, uh, verse 1 says, At that time shall Michael uh, stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And who is the, the children of thy people? The Israelites. Okay, that's who, that's who, okay, at that time, the archangels, okay, beginning with Michael, the archangel, Yahweh Shai, also leading, leading the pack. Who want, those, these are the ones that the Lord, he's going to be sending out his son, and Michael, the archangel, alongside the host of the of the heaven, is going to send them out for, for the people, of, for the children of their people. Okay, the Israelites. Those are the Israelites. Okay, 
Daniel came out of the what? Came, came out of who? Out of the nation of Israel. He's an Israelite. That's where he came from. All right? It says that Daniel chapter 12, verse 1 says, And that time shall Michael, uh, Michael stand up, the great prince who is standing for the children of thy, of thy people. It says, that, and, shall, and there shall be a time, it says, And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time, even to the, to the same time. And that time shall thy people shall be delivered, even every one of them that shall be found written in the book. Right. And who are the ones who want to be found written in the book? The elect. These are the only ones who want to be saved. All right. So you got, the world is into a shock. All right. This whole concept, everybody's going to be saved. God loves everybody. All of that's going to be shattered. Okay. You, you're about to be brought into, into a real reality. Okay. The true facts of the matter. And that is the Mosa is only dealing with the nation of Israel. Uh, he's only dealing with the nation of Israel. He has been dealing with the nation of Israel. Uh, and you nations, you're going to be dealt with very soon. Uh, Revelation 13 uh, says, He that leads into captivity. So